DCIRC is the Data Curation Education and Research Center's program. It's funded by IMLS, the Institute for Museum and Library Services, and in a particular program called the Laura Bush 21st Century Librarian Program. And in fact, it is very much about the 21st century, and not only librarians, but the data curators that we are educating. It's quite a unique program because it brings together publicly funded institutions and what we call iSchools, information schools, and a national data center that's a very mature and sophisticated operation to help our students learn about data management in its current form and the current best practices. The project is a partnership with us at the University of Illinois, the University of Tennessee, and the National Center for Atmospheric Research. And we're developing a network of iSchools and data centers that we hope will be a sustainable network for future schools and data centers to also be involved in collaborative education for data curation. The program's funding both master's students who will go out and be practitioners in data curation in research centers and research libraries and elsewhere, but also doctoral students who are working at NCAR for two semesters to really examine and engage in current data curation problems. In addition, while they're there, they're working not only with data management mentors, but also science mentors to really learn and understand the science experience and environment. We're very excited about the future, especially now that we've seen our first set of students go through NCAR this summer in their internships and seen the reciprocity of education that happened. The students learning from the mentors and the data centers also absorbing data curation expertise from our students. From my perspective as science mentor, one of the impacts has been to teach my intern about climate science and uh, how modelers use data, observational and simulated data, uh, and what formats that data comes in. Scientists pretty much have their focus on the science goal, and data managers are very interested in detail organization, having everything in the right place, having all the information accurate, and looking forward to a long-term archive and preservation project. The data by themselves was something I was not aware of, so I learned a lot about management, data management. Um, I think that data professionals can help scientists to, with their products, their, you know, their data, make it more usable and reusable help them to make it more accessible. I think we need to develop better tools to communicate and understand the mental models of people, what their needs are and what their goals are. So that was for me the key lesson. I learned a lot. Knowing that there's people who really want to learn data practices and all they need is for someone to teach them, that excites me because it means that what I'm doing is meaningful and that we can help other scientists also be excited about preserving data. As a scientist, I cannot continue to neglect uh, data management. The most important thing I've learned from them is how to play that role, how to communicate with a scientist on their level and a data manager on their level because they're in different worlds, really, and you have to interact with them on different ways. So that's probably the most interesting thing that I've learned this summer. It's made me a lot more excited about the field of data curation and made me feel more confident in my skills because before I just had a theoretical background in data curation and now having the synthesis of practical skills um, allows me to feel like I can go into a work environment and do this job and do it well. I am probably more excited because of the personal experience I've been able to have with the scientists and, and it has it's shown me ways that I can be of benefit to them. In the past, curation has been more or less isolated in large international and national centers, but we need much more than that. We need curation and repository activities all throughout our university systems, all throughout government, and anywhere where data is the basis of fact-finding and uh, establishment of uh, uh, resources and information for people.